person I am, I made a mistake on this. And as I was cooking all the ground beef this morning, I went, oh, I only needed a pound of the ground beef instead of two. So I already cooked the ground beef and the onions for the cheeseburger pie. And I went, well, no big deal. We'll just show you how to put it together. So this right here is my mixture of the pound of ground beef, the onion, and the um, garlic. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to that. Um, ketchup, here's our pie crust. We're gonna add some ketchup, some salt and pepper to that, and a little Worcestershire sauce, and our cheese. And uh, I think I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. <coughs> So we've got our meat mixture, meat and onion, garlic, okay, and our ketchup, and our salt and pepper, and our cheese. Now this calls for a lot of cheese, three cups of cheese, so it's going to be nice and cheesy. That's what we like. that part mixed up and this is where you can let your creativity come out because we're going to make the mixture but you're going to have to decide what you're going to put on the face so you can make whatever kind of face you want yeah this this is what makes it good and you can use whatever cheese i've got a mild cheddar here if you want to use um, one of the other mixtures of cheese that's down there, um, the pizza blend or the um, Colby Jack blend or the, what else is it? The Fiesta blend, the Mexican, whatever. This, you know, you can change the, the um, cheese any, any time you want or any, to any kind you want since the meat mixture is just sort of a basic. All right, that's pretty good mixed up. We're going to start with this foil. I'll put it over here because I know it makes the camera go crazy. And I love these pie crust things. I like to keep them at room temperature when, uh, you know, if you know you're getting ready for something because they're a little bit easier to use at room temperature than they are right out of the refrigerator. And I like the rolled up ones. I think we're going to spray this a little bit. Just because we're going to put an egg wash on it. So the egg white wash might have a tendency to stick. Okay, so I'm going to start with our pie crust. And let's see. Yeah. Put our meat mixture on here. And this is best worked with the best kitchen tools that you have, which are what? That's the best. There you go. You do listen. You want it. Now, I the, one of the, the reasons also I wanted to cook the meat ahead of time is you really want it to, to cool a little bit. You don't want it to be hot and melt the cheese. You want the oven to do that. Put this on here. We want it to have a little bit of a border on our pie crust. This does work. This looks like a lot. I hope that's important. Okay, here's our chicken. I just like to it down a little bit. It's going to be thick. Leaving our board, you don't want it right to the edge. Kind of make it tight. All right, there we go. Get this out of the way. Get my hands washed here. Okay. Now we'll put this aside. 
onion in. We'll take our second pie crust, and this is the one we're going to make the face out of. have the rolled one rather than the, the, I don't think you can even buy the ones that are folded up anymore. You don't have any creases, so that's nice. All right, here's our second one. And you don't have to roll these out anymore because you want to cut on the thick side. And we're going to cut out our little face. Don't eat these because we need them for later. <laughs> like I said, you can make whatever kind of face you want. One or two here. that it's nice and tight and it looks like a pumpkin. Jean, you're back. It's been so quiet without you. I'm glad to have you back. Keep me honest. I don't want to lose my teeth here. Now you can tuck this under if you're so inclined, but I'm just going to kind of push it up here against this. So there's our jack-o'-lantern face. So we're going to take this that we didn't have for our lunch, kind of just sort of twist it. Now nobody here would eat raw pie dough, I know, but I just thought I'd have to say that. Okay, then we're going to put this right here. Now, this is our egg wash. Not a normal egg wash, as you see. It's egg and water and um, a little bit of food coloring to keep it orange. So we're going to put a little bit here so we can glue this on. What color food color? What color? I used, um, what does it say, two red, drops of yellow, yellow and red? Red and yellow, okay. Mm -hmm. And red and yellow make it. So we're just going to brush that all over. And this also gives it a little, using, by using the egg wash, you can also use this as kind of a little glue. So we want to make sure that this doesn't run out. But this is kind of a fun thing to do for dinner on Halloween, especially if you know, for the kids at least, you know, you might get them interested in eating something other than the candy that they're going to get later. By having something kind of exciting or doing the graveyard thing or, you know, this is kind of a neat thing to take to a, a party too because everybody would be like, oh, that's so cute. How'd you do that? And then you can just say, oh, it was really tough. <laughs> I worked really hard, but I did it just for you. Okay. Let me wipe that up. So I'm just going to brush that. I'm going to wipe that. 
and then get our pan. And we're gonna bake it at 425 for about 20, 25 minutes. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, yes. And it comes out like that. Isn't that cute? So there is our jack-o'-lantern cheeseburger pie. I'm going to stick it back in the oven so it's warm. Oh, I forgot to put the mustard on. Yeah, I knew I was going to do that. The mustard, when you put the, um, the plain pie dough, just spread it with mustard before you put the meat and the cheese on it. 